I'll do a quick problem on, on who and transfer. Okay. That will help, help you understand it better. So you have this is a example six point one. Okay, you can follow it as so what you have is you can a base graph of mass two thousand kg. Let's say 480 kilometer circular orbit. Okay. We need to find, I've changed the problem a little bit. Find delta V for the spacecraft. Question is simple. This one? Yeah, it's actually the, uh, no, This is specific impulse. No, not that one. S slash C. Space car. Okay. Satellite or space car. Okay. So with ISP 300 seconds, find, it, find total, total delta V as a propellant with ISP to achieve delta V. And find total delta V. Example 6.1, so it is, it is modified. Okay. 
Now, if you look at this, you may be asked such a problem in the exam, so pay attention. Is impulse the variable that is in seconds? Yes. yes. So spacecraft is is put in this order, okay? What is R1? This is orbit one or initial orbit. <coughs> Let's call it orbit one. This is orbit two, or the final orbit. Okay. The spacecraft is here. It's in this orbit. Got it? What is this distance? Two and a half kilometers. 480 kilometers. 480 kilometers. Okay. And what is this distance? 16,000 kilometers. Okay. The goal is to put this spacecraft in this orbit and figure out. There are two things you need to figure out. You need to figure out total delta V and Propellant mass. What is this quantity? Delta M. Do you remember? Right? So, what you're going to do here is what is your orbital maneuver? How is your orbital maneuver going to look like? Anybody has another? Marker, black color mark. So you you're going to do the first maneuver here, right? So let's say this is V one, okay. If you do the first maneuver and increase this by increase the velocity by delta v, right? This would be v p. You understand? So what you're going to do is you're going to do this. You're going to do a maneuver to get into this orbit, right? First. Look at what is R1? R1 is equal to Rp is what? 480 plus 6378. You with me? Now,
15,000, right? 15,000 plus? 6,378. 6,378. So this is one or what is h h is root of mu r or h transfer is what root of mu not vectors okay this is not r cross v r is the it is both of them 6858 6378 is the radius of the earth this is the altitude <coughs> This is the orbit. Okay, this is the radius of the Earth from the center to the circuit. Okay. Um, the second H that's at H of T. H T. What is H T? <coughs> the transfer. The this is the the magnitude of the angular momentum of each of these orbits. Okay. Why do we use these? If you know h, what do you know here? Do you know mu? Yeah. It's, it'll be given to you, right? Mm -hmm. Or you'll know the, for a given, um, it's a property of the, the central body, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So here, it's actually 2 mu. Mu three nine eight zero zero three. So you can calculate each one, which is simply equal to. What do you really need here? Let's not worry about H1. Let's look at what is VP. Can I say VP is HT over R? P? You can do that for any orbit. So any or any one of those are that's not matter. H 
because this formula h is r b okay specially at the uh, h is not r b it is actually r b perpendicular okay now since you are you are doing the transfer at the parity at parity B is simply equal to B perpendicular. There is no radial component. The radial component and the gravitational pull is kind of cancelled out. Okay. Here only the tangential component is relevant at this point and at this point. You understand? Even at this point, this is the amplitude. So you can either do this or it's also equal to. H T divided by R A if this is B A. Does that make sense? If I replace this by B A, this will become H T by R A. Okay. Okay. What do you calculate from here? Do you know this H? You can calculate, right? If you, you know 2 mu, right? What is Ra? This one, right? And Rp is this one. So you know everything, you know Ht. Do you know Rp? Yeah. So you can calculate Vp. Okay, can somebody calculate this and tell me? You have your calculator. Right, so let me make that clear again. That's a good question. There are there is a circular orbit. Somebody calculate that until then I'll explain. Okay? This is a circular orbit, right? This is the initial orbit. This is where the satellite is put first. Okay. What is the target? This is the final orbit. It has to go to this orbit. How did we say we are going to do that? We are going to do a maneuver here. Right? And then another maneuver here. If you do a maneuver here, it is going to get to this orbit. Transfer orbit. Right? If you do another maneuver here, when the satellite comes here, this is V A. Okay. If we increase this by, I'll call this delta V one. This is delta V two. This will be my V two. Now to answer your question, this is R A R one. You agree? Mm -hmm. But it is also Rp. Right? For this orbit, this is Rp. Does that make sense? Don't see this orbit, don't see this orbit. Just look at this orbit. So there is a this is a focus. This is a focus. Occupied focus, unoccupied focus, center for this and this. It is the focus for this. There will be another point here for this orbit, which will be F star. You understand? You are following me? This is at R1 and Rp. This is R2 and R A. Does that make sense? 
How many orbits are here? Three. Three orbits. Everybody is clear, right? The first orbit, it's a circular orbit. So R1 is everything. The second orbit, R8, sorry, Rp. R8. Final orbit, R2. Make sense? But the velocity changes. Keep in mind. V1 is not Vp. V1 is not Vp. These points can be similar for two orbits. But the velocity at that point is a function of the size of the orbit. If it could be, I'll just, so here if it was, if, if, if I decrease the velocity here, what will happen? It will get into a smaller orbit. Does that make sense? If I increase, it will get into a larger orbit. You, you agree with me? You understand? So what is this VP? Nobody calculated this? Huh? 2.88. Kilometer per second. What is V1? Anybody V V1? Is it for H C? V1 is mu R1. 398000 into R1, root of that. That's V1. 64,568. So is H1 and V1 the same? Huh? So is H1 and V1 going to be the same? No, V1 is velocity, H1 is yeah. angular momentum. Where is V1, H1 same? First I calculate H1. You find V1 is exactly the way that we find H1. V1 is H1 by R1. Okay. Like we found out this. Give me a calculate. <laughs> calculate that. Calculate H1. Mm. H1 is 5, 2, 1, mm. 6, 8. Huh? H1 is 5, 2, 1, 6, 8. Divide that by R1. Yeah, 
We want us H1 over R1. This, remember this formula. You can apply it to any of these or any of these orbits at the perigee and apogee. This formula. And the H1 is plug in. Right. You know R1, you know mu, you get H1. Bakari, what did you get? Just because they don't understand what actually happens. Are we? Do we have to be in? We have to get to the visible orbit before we can get to the circular orbit. Is that what's going on? Yeah, we are in this orbit. Yeah. We need to get into this orbit. How do we get? We do one maneuver; it will take us into this orbit. And so we do another maneuver; it will take us into this orbit. And so we need that angle. First, yes, first we need to figure out what V1 is, right? We need to get, if for V1, we need a delta V. We need to increase the velocity here. Delta V1 is what? I'll just write this. Delta V1 is what, guys? Vp minus V1. Check this. This, I think, is, this is wrong. Or this is wrong. One of them should be incorrect. Oh, it's not important. Nine points. Four, four. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll just take it, but uh, I'll, I'll check it. That's Nine right. points. Four, right. four. That's right. Okay. You got it. So your delta V one is around point. What is this, this guy? Uh, one point. Seven nine. It is like what's kind of confusing here. Mm. They they gave us the velocity at the 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 only thing given to you here is, and this is the beauty of this problem. The only thing given to you is this, this, and this, and you are. Solving everything out of that. Or when plugging in mm -hmm. H, H of C, right? Or mm -hmm. the transformation is H, mm -hmm. your R A R P is 480, 16, uh, right? Mm -hmm. No, yes. No, it's not this. I wrote here, why are we taking 480? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a R A. Guys, you cannot do the same. Finally, this is your V1, delta V1, okay? Now tell me what is delta V2? Any big? Delta V2? Delta V2. VA minus V2? V2 minus VA. This is a Okay. And V2 is what? H2 divided by R2. R2. So, like, at what point are we changing the velocity? We're changing the velocity at two points. You know, V1 is here, delta V1. It will get into this orbit. It will keep on doing the elliptical orbit. We need to again change the velocity here. Okay. If you change it, it will go into this. I'm saying, what point are we changing from like the. Because we're originally in a circular orbit. So I won't we are in a circular orbit. Okay, so, so as soon as we get to that. To the, to the periapsis, we change, we change, change the velocity. velocity. Okay. But it's like how you change the velocity. Okay. Okay. You can, here's, a, here, here's another beautiful thing about this. The first velocity change is, can be anywhere. Okay. Because you're going to get into, if you do the velocity change anywhere, because it's circular, right? You get into this orbit. This is another example. Okay. Okay. 
So as long as you end up there. You can change anywhere. You get into this orbit, which will be which will have a common point for all these or for uh, this orbit. Mm -hmm. You understand? The second velocity change has to be at the apoapsis. Does that make sense? The first velocity change can be anywhere because it's a circular orbit. Where are we going back? What do you see? What do you mean we are going back? We stay in orbit two. We are never in orbit two. We are in orbit one. We are in orbit one, Kenneth. Orbit two sustains. We are. The rocket has put us in in orbit one. Okay. What we need is we need to get into orbit two. Okay. So we are in this orbit. We need to get into this orbit. This is the final orbit. We're doing this, 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 this. At some point here, because it's a circular orbit, you can do a maneuver anywhere and get into an elliptical orbit with a common point in the target orbit. But, but what about once you get to the, the apoapsis? Like you said, you have to change it at that point. You right? have to change another. Well, you have to change it like immediately. Not immediately. Just you can keep doing this. Uh, once you have settled down, you, come, you are going to come to this point several times, right? Ah, uh, okay. You do it. If you want to do it quickly at the same point, uh -huh. see, between, you have to understand that when you go from, let's say, this one. Is about 80, 80 minutes orbit. Okay. 70 80 minute orbit. When you get into this, it's probably a couple of hours. So from this point to this point, you will have let's say a couple of hours. An hour and a half or a two. If you're able to execute that maneuver in, in that hour and a half or two, go ahead and do it. If you plan ahead, you can do it here itself. But if you do miss, miss it, it's going to come back to that point. Okay, because I'm just thinking, if you, if you okay. So V2 is this, V A is what? Now, once you have done this, what is delta V, guys? Let's finish this. This is, I'm going to ask you this, ask this in your exam. V2 plus V1. Huh? V2 plus V1. Delta V1 plus delta V2. Why would it be V1? I mean, it's still going to be a... It's 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 a... You understand? Okay. Okay? Delta V is... The sum of those two deltas, essentially. And why this delta total? This is a total delta v. Okay. Why is this total delta v relevant? Because delta m is one minus e to the power of minus v over delta p over Minus P G. You got it? Please complete this problem on your own. And I'll, I'll check it. Okay. You definitely have one of these problems in the exam. Final exam. I need you to learn this. This is a very important topic as well. Mm-hmm.